Good morning, Solid Steppers. What's up, Tech the Titans? This is Miss Ward coming to you. Today I'm over here near um, Eglin Air Force Base. Shout out to the military and the fact that they bless us by signing up and taking care of us. Thank you again. So what I want to do is have a transparent conversation. I kind of started doing this because, you know, a lot of people always ask me, Miss Ward, how you do this, how you do that? So... I want to just share my morning thoughts like this morning let's just talk about transparency and and frailty and all those good things you know let's talk about gratitude this morning i woke up and there were several customers that made uh, appointments and requests between 1 45 a.m and 5 a.m this morning and i had to catch myself because i had an undercover attitude and I'm thinking, okay, Miss Ward, get your life together because you know what? There's somebody right now closing down or struggling with the idea of shutting down their business because of the ups and downs and because of the highs and lows and because of the lack of business and lack of support. So the first thing I want to say is that I am humbly grateful for being able to sustain my business since 2019 and uh, being able to transition from my corporate position into the, this uh, wonderful trade. Let's just say that. But we're going to talk about the human side of the game. So we need to talk about gratitude because while I'm complaining and having an attitude, you know, I had to cancel all that out, honey. Because at the end of the day, they don't have to call me. They don't have to use me. I don't have to be chosen. Think about that for a moment. It's people out here trying to figure out how to get a lead. I have the honor and privilege of being able to pick and choose, to be very clear about the avatar and the caliber of client I want to service, where, when, what time, and how. I also dictate the information they provide, and if they don't do it quick enough or in a manner that I need in order to serve them at the elite level that I always try to represent in business, um, then I don't deal with them. A lot of people don't have that option, but then I had to say, you know what, why do I have that option? Because I hold myself to a standard. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Like I just told you, I got my brown, brown ass up this morning. I was like, mm. I was like, who the hell you said mm to? Yeah, that's me talking to myself. So like I always tell you guys in these videos, I am always coaching myself through the ledge, through the situations, through the storm, because... <clears throat> the thing you're going to learn about business and life, and I'm going to tell y'all something. Miss Ward really don't care. <laughs> and when I tell you I don't care, I say that casually because you see this gray hair? This gray hair comes from experiences, self-inflicted adversity, ignorance, hard-headedness. I know everything, but I really don't. But I'm going to act like it so people don't know I'm insecure and have my own issues. All that dumb stuff you do. I do it too. So when I tell y'all I'm constantly working on myself, my growth, and my development, I really am because the only thing I can control is me. And the more that I control and, and project and move accordingly, the better my results and the better my life is going to be. I can't point the finger at this one, that one, or <clears throat> for those who forgot, you see this? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what my ass is talking about. I can't lean on what I call crutches. And I can't, or gender, among other things, preferences. But I love myself. I love my spiritual relationship and alignment with God because I'm very clear. And I've never been um, apologetic about that. I'm very clear. God, as I see God, is from within me. That I am developed in that image. And I can do great things. And that's what people don't understand. See, while you out here trying to subscribe to X, Y, and Z, you need to, what's up, Gio? You will be checking in while I'm doing a video. That's my folks, though. <laughs> I forgot to put do not disturb, so I ain't got nothing to say. I'm glad somebody checking on my round brown ass, okay? They ain't forgot about me yet. But anyway, getting back to the topic. See how my, this is what I'm talking about, about humanity and how you got to understand who you are. See how I went off on that tangent and had no problem? Because this is really who I am. And this is why I don't have to worry about that authenticity factor. 
When I'm talking to y'all, I'm telling you the truth. These are real live, real time experiences I'm having and I'm sharing them with you because I want you, number one, understand you're not alone and understand it is a process and that frustration is real. Like yesterday, I had a whole situation going on with a check I submitted into my bank and I was pissed because I understand optical character uh, recognition. And if anybody knows what OCR is, that's basically when they submit a document, the computer is reading it in the system, AI, whatever you want to call it, and it's it has a set of parameters. And so they reject it if it doesn't meet certain parameters. Well, I've submitted, I'm going to just keep it a buck, over a half a million in check, dollars in checks in this form. Never had an issue with the endorsement. Then I got to go back and forth with what they're telling me. Now, these are the human beings, not the computer. Because the computer been giving me a pass until this particular time. And the human beings are telling me this is the structure. And in my brain, because I understand AI and I understand OCR, goes back to always learning. How do I know about OCR? Because I study stuff. I study Azure, which is uh, Microsoft's version and machine learning. They're like, when do you find time? It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that I believe in pivoting. So if I don't have another avenue, and I'm going to do a quick tangent to go into, because this trade is phenomenal, but I can't do it forever. And the one thing that I can, I'm can, i very big about is this. My mind has to stay fertile. I have to have, I have to learn all the time. So just because I know that, I also know it from, you know, back in the day when people were dealing with credit and credit repair and they tell you to handwrite those letters. That's because of that OCR situation, you know. So getting back to what I was saying about the bank. Um, so I get there and, and, you know, and I'm irritated because it's really kind of messed up my schedule. Because my schedule was to go service another customer and then head to do something different. But this is why you run your own stuff and you stay on top of your schedule and your logistics so you can adjust no matter what happens and stay cool. So anyway, the on the phone wasn't good enough. What they needed, they couldn't send me an email, provide documentation. So I'm the kind of person I wanted in black and white so I can structure my things accordingly. Because I'm one of those people, I will look at the rule book and know it better than the person I'm dealing with. And I not only know how to play by the rules, in between the rules, around the Anybody that knows me, my skill set is the ability to take something and bend it to my own personal parameters because I will learn it, learn it, learn it till I know it in and out. And then, okay, how do I, how do I slide in here, get this done, and do it better than anybody else at record time, efficiently and effortlessly on a on a regular basis that's how my brain because efficiency is the key and most people don't understand they out here fighting trying to find hustles slick ways that's bs you got to understand the process and then make the process yours that's rule number one for me so getting back to the bank so i go to the bank they still can't give it to me in writing. So I'm sitting here in this office, and I've resubmitted this check online. So while I'm sitting there, and they're on the phone with these upper-level people, and the upper-level people are lost, what happens? AI approves the check anyway, which means whatever the heck they were telling me, their rule book is not as strict as they think or in order because they don't have the proper parameters in place for consistency. And see, that's what y'all got to understand. Whatever you do anything in life, it comes down to consistency and understanding systems. This is why you hear me talk about James Clear. What do I say all the time? You never rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the effectiveness of your systems. That is so clear. Anything in your life is going to be the same. So like I said, while I was about to turn into an angry black woman out there, the system that I knew had pushed me through all the time came back, gave me a green light, and kept it moving. While I was in there talking to them, why am I saying that? First of all, control your temperament. That way you can observe what's going on around you. That is the most difficult thing for me to learn because I'm one of them sisters. I'll be coasting along. I'm fine. Don't mess with me. I don't mess with you. But if you try me... Oh, I'm going back to Thug Nation. You hear me? Simply because that's just my blueprint, and I am working on that. This is what I'm talking about, being very transparent. We all are, like, cool, and then we think we're cool until something happens, and all of a sudden, you ignorant again. 
I have those same struggles. This is why I'm so antisocial because I am a constant work on process, uh, uh, work in progress, and I want to isolate myself to a certain attempt certain extent so I can hit my goals and so I share with you guys so you see the real like this the real real so anyway I'm saying all that to say this world is human just like you and I am consistently working on me and I'm aware that it, I mean from physically mentally working out my diet like I'm gonna give you guys a prime example I was just sharing this with one of my coaching students and uh, he was asking me about my energy and how I keep my energy up. I'm trying to find this, and I really, I'm going to show you guys one of them. But, like, I take a lot of herbs. So, prime example, um, this is an example. I don't know if y'all can see this. This is evening primrose. This is great for women. You know, black cohosh and... Calcium D and dash glucorite. And then I have a couple of things. And then I have this great thing called adrenal support. Let me tell y'all, y'all better get with it. Y'all better realize that you got to take care of your health. And I take several of these. Um, and the reason I do is because I believe in staying healthy. Of course, I have B6. Um... And all this stuff is kind of packed up, so I can't show you. But like I said, at the end of the day, you got to stay on it. Like right here, I got my sea moss. And everyone that's anybody knows about this. Sea moss, black seed oil, ashwagandha, burdock root. You don't know about this? You better get it together. So at the end of the day, you have to take care of yourself. And I do that, and I do it mentally, spiritually, and physically, and it is a process. So in other words, y'all ain't nobody disturbing this war of peace, because it took me years to understand the importance of it and to understand what I need to do to take care of me. So with that said, remember, gratitude is the key, the name of the game. When the work comes to you, be grateful humbly grateful for what if it's something you don't want to do be respectful and give the customer another alternative or just follow the process and protect your business so with that said y'all i am getting a little long-winded here and i'm sure i didn't got all the way off topic but that's me i just want y'all to have a great day and i want you to understand you are not alone gratitude is the key to life and if you are being blessed with business and you're being blessed with consistent business, be grateful because there's a lot of people who don't have it. With that said, I want y'all to have a great day. Miss Ward signing off. And keep stepping, solid steppers, and take the Titans. Have a great day.